Mm. Space. Then, uh, Ekta, yeah, Ekta, tell us, Glenmark's numbers look very, very good. Management sounded quite confident as well uh, on the Concord. Yes, uh, now we all know the numbers, you know, for Glenmark, which actually came out last evening. So I'm going to concentrate on a couple of comment, uh, comments which were actually made by the management in the conference call. So, for example, we heard uh, the management of Glenmark, including Glenn Saldana, talk about the Zetia opportunity, where he did say that it should contribute around 200 to $250 million. But there was a lot of caution which actually came in from the management uh, with regards to the US business, for example, they said that the reality in the US business is that there is significant pricing pressure. They are not guiding in terms of the base business and how it is trending at this point in time. Uh, there is no visibility on what specifically Trump will do and impact on Indian companies is a bit uh, difficult to assess right now. Medicare, Medicaid, which is basically assessing of how much uh, that would contribute to numbers is actually around 10, 10 to 20% of their total sales. They did say that a good part of uh, the Zetia generic sales will go into debt repayment. So they expect the debt uh, to come down to levels than, below than what it was in March of 2016. By March of 2017, net debt stands currently at around 3,750 odd crores. India continues to trend at an EBITDA of around 20 to 21 percent, and these margins should sustain going forward. Um, in fact, we can hear the management out and what they had to say, say earlier, especially on the India business. We still continue to grow in the India business. I think the overall business, right, we continue to trend at about 20-21%, okay, in terms of EBITDA margin. Uh, so that we continue to sustain. Moving on, HSI 